Good morning girls. I'm going to do a short video on how to add fractions when their denominators are, are totally different and they are not related. Okay, here we go. Welcome to my kitchen classroom and I hope you um, enjoy the video. The first one that we are going to look at, we are going to look at a third plus a quarter. Now in the past, we have looked at fractions when the denominators are a multiple, one is a multiple of the other one. And we've only ended up changing one of them into the equivalent fraction. Now, what we need to do here, if we're going to add a third and a quarter, we cannot add them as they stand there. The denominators are not the same. So we're going to have to look for the lowest common denominator. So if I say to my multiples of three, three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Okay, and then I'm going to say my multiples of four. Four, eight, twelve, sixteen. Okay, all right. I'm looking for my lowest common denominator. And at the, if I can see, if I say my multiples of three and my multiples of four, I can say that there is 12. Okay, so it's my lowest common multiple which is going to become my lowest common denominator. So, I'm going to make my dividing line separating my numerators and my denominators. I'm going to make it longer. And I'm going to, there's my denominator, it's 12. So, now, this is the very, very important Thing. I'm going to change both of these fractions into an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 12 so that I can add them. So I'm going to divide by my denominator. I'm going to say 3 will go into 12 4 times. 4 times 1 is 4. So 1 third is also 4 twelfths. Then I'm going to say 4 will divide into 12. 3 times 1 is 3. So, I, now, because they both have the same denominators, I can add them. So I've got 4 twelfths and 3 twelfths. And my answer is 7 over 12. And the next thing I've got to ask myself, is it in its simplest form? Yes, it is in its simplest form. So I can leave it like that. Right, let's look at another one. Okay. I'll just take this off here. Right. So the next one I'm going to look at is five eighths. 5 over 8 plus um, 2 thirds. Now, as they stand like that, we cannot, we cannot add them. So, we must find my lowest common multiple. So, I'm going to say all of my multiples of 8 and my multiples of 3. So, Let's try. 8, 16, 3 eighths are 24, 52. Let's stop there. Okay, let's say my multiples of 3. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 24. So there is my lowest common multiple okay it is 24 so i'm now going to change both of these fractions into an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 24 so i'm going to say 8 will go into 24 3 times 5 is 15 so 8 5 eighths is also 15 over 24 
3 will divide into 24. 8 times 2 is 16. So 2 thirds is also 16 over 24. Now I'm going to add my numerators. 50 plus 16, that gives me 31 over 24. Now it is in, it is an improper fraction. So what does an improper fraction always call out to do? To change it into a mixed number. And how do we do that? We divide the denominator into the numerator. And we say, how many groups of 24 can I make out of 31? 1. And what's left over? Okay. 24, 31 minus, um, it is 1 and 7 24. Okay. And it, it is simplest form. So that is my answer. All right. Let's have a look at just one more. One more. Okay, the last one is going to be three fifths. Three fifths plus one quarter. Now, as they stand like that, we cannot add them. So what we're going to have to do is to change both of them into an equivalent fraction with the same denominator. So what's that denominator going to be? Okay, so I'm going to have to say, give me my multiples of 5 and my multiples of 4. And I'm going to come up with my lowest common one, which is 20. Okay, now I'm going to change both of these into an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 20. So I'm going to say 5 will go into 20. 4 times 3 is 12. So 3 fifths is also 12 twentieths. Okay. 4 will go into 20. 5 times 1 is 5. A quarter is also 5 twentieths. So now I'm going to add my numerators. 12 twentieths plus 5 twentieths is going to give me 17 over 20. Then I look at it and I say, is it in its simplest form? Yes, it is in its simplest form because there is not any number besides 1 that can divide into 17 and into 20. Yes, and I hear some of you say, yes, why is there no number that can divide equally into 17 and into, equally into um, 20? Because 17 is a prime number which has only got one and itself as its factors. All right. I hope that you girls understand that. I will send out a few more videos later. Have a good day. Goodbye.